All right, getting into another uh, little video on Chisa. But today I want to talk about the idea of the art aspect within the martial art. Chisa is there for a lot of reasons, but it can also help you with your creativity of adjusting yourself to the target. So a lot of times in, in Chisa, yeah, we talk about just our regular, just our, our regular attacks that we want to learn to do in the beginning. Just kind of want to do punch, I can come here and do a simple chop, I can do a human, both palm strike from there, and I can do simple hot punch, I can do lock chop or lock punch, you know, I can do simple from, from here, four jump, palm strike, a lot of different things I can do. But that's just the basic foundation. I always want to be able to adjust and help me understand how I can get myself to the target. So with that, if I have my arm tension correctly and ultimately supported by my body correctly, my whole body acts as its own scale, per se, where I know I'm here, I'm balanced and control at this point. But as soon as I make contact, and if he upsets that balance by pushing just a little bit, yeah, that's what causes me to adjust myself to that target. But even from here, if he's pushing just a little bit, yeah, then I can go forward here. You notice from here, I control myself, I balance myself back out, the line opens up naturally, and that's how I can get to the target. So everything I do, I feel him pushing one way or the other. Now, with his arm here, he's pushing me out that way. He doesn't know it. So with my right arm, I can come in here, cow out, go into an arm break. Now, he's pushing one way or the other, and I can come back this way, and I control him right here, and just do a simple chop. Now, see, he's hooked right here. Good, he's hooked, that's what I want. Now I can come in, elbow strike. But notice it's not just the elbow strike. I have to use my other hand equally as well. So with my right arm, I'm coming in cow style, and I can do the elbow strike. Now from here, my next motion, the flow with it, I can come in and do an uppercut, a drilling punch motion. But you notice, what am I, everybody's so focused on the attack hand. What am I doing with my controlling hand here? I'm actually doing a thumb joint lock. If he tries to go with it, that, that's fine. Now I can come back this way. Take him off balance. So again, that's where the fun part of chi sao can really come in. Everybody's still focused on the attack and the hit, and yeah, you have to learn to do that. And yes, you do need to learn to, to block from that. But to be able to do that spontaneously and be able to constantly adjust and more importantly control yourself when that freaking evildoer comes down on you, you've got to be able to adjust. And that means controlling yourself. And that means being able to flow from any motion to any motion. And from here, he does whatever attacks you. I come with it here. There's my pork pie. And I come cow punch right here. And I come in chop. See? You flow right into an arm break. I can do a knee strike right here. Stamp down. Chai her scraping kick on the leg. But again, that's where the fun part can come in. Be creative. Don't just think like, oh, I gotta come in here and try to blitz the center line punch. That blitz and center line punch, yeah, it works great in, in demonstration. But I tell you, if somebody actually come in with real intent and just Try to, like if he was to run at me and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to sit on the punch. It's going to get blocked most of the time. Once we engage, how am I going to flow to that? How am I going to flow? How am I going to flow? How am I going to flow to that? How am I going to flow? <laughs> I got that. That's why, again, you've got to be creative in your chi style. You've got to be able to constantly adjust in a flow and, importantly, control yourself. You've got to know that feeling. All right, good luck.